what are the characteristics of each of this state of matter? Let us now study in detail. Now let us start with the solids. Okay. Now let us take the example of a book children. Okay. The book. Do you think the book has a mass? Yes. So the book has mass. So all these solids. Okay. The solids have mass. The first characteristic of solid is solids have mass. mass now these solids they have a definite shape children okay they have a definite shape so don't you think the book has a definite shape the chair you are sitting is having a definite shape the pencil has a shape of course when you sharpen it's going to decrease that's a different issue but still okay the pen has a shape so all solids they have a definite shape so solids have a definite shape now can these solids flow children no solids cannot flow so solids cannot flow okay and next is can you compress a solid compressing is can you push the solid into a smaller size no so solids cannot be compressible Okay, solids are not compressible. Okay, so these are the different characteristics of a solid. That is, solids have a mass. They have a definite shape. Okay, solids cannot flow. Solids are not compressible, and solids have a definite volume. Solids have definite. volume okay so these are the properties of a solid so a solid is that state of matter children which has a definite shape it has a definite volume and solids can be heaped okay they do not flow that is they do not have fluidity and they can be heaped have you ever seen if you pour a like a bag of rice on the floor doesn't this a uh, rice heap up into a pile okay into as like a mountain like structure okay so solids do not flow but they heap okay and also solids have many free surfaces okay and one more thing is solids since they do not flow children they do not need a container to hold them so when we discuss about all these properties we can come to defining a solid a solid is that state of matter which has definite volume okay definite shape okay and it has many free surfaces is that clear